So, happy Pride. Happy Pride. Um, so tell us why we here gathered today, mm -hmm. you know, um, with our flags and, and all uh -huh. that. Well, it is officially launched Pride Month in Trinidad and Tobago. So this is the second time that we are doing something like this. And it's really to increase the visibility of LGBTQ persons across Trinidad and Tobago to show yeah. that we exist and we are alive and we are here and we are proud of who we are. We are not going to let any of the stigma and this discrimination prevent us from being our true authentic selves. Okay, great. So this is actually going on like at seven locations across seven the Seven locations across the country. We right. choose Central because this is like a multicultural hub of Trinidad and Tobago right. you know there's a lot of different religions and races that congregate in this area and we wanted to show that you know it's not just about LGBT issues it's about the intersectionality right. of all of the issues that we are all affected by and why, and why we should all come together and support each other when it comes to human rights and when it comes to knocking on injustices and equality. Good and Silver Linen, the Silver Linen Foundation mm -hmm. is sort of indirectly in central because right. a lot of his members uh -huh. are from you know the central area well we would like to think that you know we are we are all over the country but most of our core members and meetings right. are central based uh, we silver lining came here and wanted to be part of pride tt's event to raise this flag because we wanted to put a spotlight on some of the many issues that young people in particular continue to face as it relates to their sexuality and gender identity yeah. um we did a survey not too long ago where 28 percent of students said that they were being bullied because of their perceived sexual right. orientation or yeah. gender identity a lot of people in the straight community thinks that you know when you come out and you be proud and you be bold about your sexual orientation you start sort of warrants this violence and discrimination that we face but in schools what we are seeing is that ch children who aren't even identified but just because they may look differently or act differently that is enough to cause violence upon mm -hmm. them and we wanted to say something about that so that it can be addressed properly Right, very good, very good. So this is just the start? It's just the start of a month long um, of events and activities right. that is all geared towards highlighting LGBTQ issues. But this year we want to primarily focus on that pink flag, pink and blue flag that you're seeing there, trans issues. So so trans issues, um, as you all, we all know, it's pride, the birthplace to the origins of, tri of, of pride really occurred as a result of the Stonewall riots where two transgender activists were uh, pretty much, you know, uh, the police were harassing them and they decided, you know what, enough was enough. Yeah. We are not going to allow any sort of law enforcement or anybody to discriminate or oppress us. We need to do something about that. So what we wanted to do is highlight the transgender community of Trinidad and Tobago. It's so ironic because they are often the most visible mm -hmm. members of our community by definition of who they are and how they look. But their issues are often invisibilized. Right. More, most people don't want to address the, the concerns, the very real concerns that they have. So Pride TT and Silver Lining is partnering right? and we are trying to push that, uh, push those issues into the forefront so we can have those sensible national debates. And debates is one thing, what we want to see, because I think this country have a lot of debates and a lot of talk, we want action once and for all. That's what it is we are gearing up here. So hopefully by us making ourselves more visible, that can increase the level of awareness that uh, when it comes to these issues so people can have a greater yes, understanding yes. about who we are and not allow these negative stereotypes to plague us. Right, so we have some members of the Silver Lining Foundation on the back of us here standing very proudly. <laughs> right, give a wave everyone! <laughs> Yay! So, we hope to, to hear more about it and mm -hmm. we will continue, you all should continue yes. to keep on our social media uh -huh. pages, right. right, Instagram and Facebook uh -huh. and stay tuned and all I want to say finally in closing is that there's a lot of negative misconceptions that people, straight people in particular, have about LGBTQ people in Trinidad and Tobago and around the world. And I want to speak directly to those people. It's okay to have those misgivings and those um, false beliefs that you have. We are not judging anybody. But what we want to say to you is reach out to someone who you know maybe you don't do find someone who you who is gay and talk to them get to know them on a personal level as opposed to the negative stereotypes and prejudices that you hold on to because you will see when it is you talk to lgbtq people at the end of the day we are just like you we have the same goals the same dreams the same ambitions we share many of your beliefs and traditions and customs and we just want to be included that's and that's all we want equal rights and inclusion thank you yay happy pride